Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and learn how to use the, the following keywords. How to use the N keyword, the O keyword, the order by the limit, the in between the O and the and the in, right? So yeah, we're going to learn how to use that in inside of uh, MySQL and be able to write queries using these keywords. And you understand how to use this keyword in different scenarios. So let's jump jump into writing the code for this. So I'm just going to jump into MySQL workbench. So this is where we left off from last time, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete everything. You can go ahead and simply control and save and save this if you want but i'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this okay so delete all of this and we go ahead and write a uh, uh, new code so let's go ahead and just say select everything from our our customer table so we're going to say select uh star right from uh customer just like that so we're going to select everything from our customer table. so i'm just going to highlight this and simply run it it's going to return to me all the records from the customer's table good so once we have all that record being returned what i want to want to go ahead and do is I want to select all the records. So if you go, uh, let me just scroll right here. If you go on this scroll on this side, you can see you have a column called credit limit. So what this column does is just shows the credit limit of the specific customer. So let's say that I want to return all the customers that have a specific credit limit. So let's say that I want to return all the customers that have a credit limit of more than 20,000. So how do we do that? So we can go ahead and simply write the query for you. You can say uh, select, and we're going to go ahead and say select everything. So select uh, asterisk, uh, this is gonna be from the customer customer stable and you're going to use a where operator we're going to have a where, where condition so we're going to say where uh we're going to say credit uh credit credit uh limit is greater than uh you can say credit limit is greater than two twenty thousand right so twenty thousand just like that so it's going to return to us all the credit all the records in which the credit limit is greater than twenty thousand basically all the customers who have credit limit of more than twenty thousand and these are all the customers that have a credit limit of more than twenty thousand so good or you can even get a count of that if you want you can just simply say uh count and then simply get a count of all of those customers so you can just simply do that uh by doing this code right here and then simply run run that again so save this uh it seems to be giving us an error so actually i got the spring of count wrong so yeah so once i have that i can just go ahead and run the code again now you can just get a 97 uh, 97 customers have a credit score of more than uh 20 000. so good that's how you can uh, write a simple uh select close right using the where condition now what if you want to select uh where customers have a credit of more than twenty thousand and less than seventy thousand so how can you do that and to do that figure we're going to be using the end close so we're going to say where the customers have a credit of more than twenty thousand and we're going to have the you're going to use the end keyword so we're going to simply go here and simply say uh end uh so end customers have a credit score of uh, less than seventy thousand so you're gonna be seven uh, seventy thousand, and then simply uh seven hundred thousand, seventy thousand, basically uh, of less than seventy thousand. Basically, so we're going to select uh call the customers that have a credit score of more than twenty thousand, but less than seven thousand. So let's see how many customers are matched that query. We have only thirty one customers, so we can actually go ahead and select everything. Okay, so just select everything. So we have uh, we have uh, thirty one customers has that have a credit a credit score or a credit limit of more than twenty thousand, but and uh, less than. 70,000. So if I go ahead and uh, run the code, we get back all their details right here. So that's how you can use an end close. Okay. So now let's move on and learn how we can actually write more different, more uh, more other queries. So you can also say less than or equal. So less than or equal. You can also use less than or equal operator, meaning that 20 and 70,000 are going to be inclusive. So it's going to be less than or equal. Yeah. So I uh, run the code again. Uh, we get back those customers. Right. So that's basically how you can uh, specify. You can use the end close uh, end keyword to uh, write different uh, queries in which you have two conditions, right? Where both conditions must be must be met. So that's basically how we can use uh, end close where we have we have a condition where both uh, we have a, a situation where both conditions must be met. This condition must be met, and this condition must be met, right? Okay, good. So once we have that, let's move, let's see how we can use the select uh, the in between keyword, okay? Now let's say that you want to select all the customers that, that have a credit limit of between a given value. Okay, so uh, you can do that by using the word between. So let's say between two hundred and seventy. You, you, so you, don't, you don't have to use the end keyword. So you just have to uh, let me just show you how to do this. You just have to delete all of this. We are going to say where credit uh, limit. Uh, we're going to say between. So our credit limit is going to be between, right? Between two twenty thousand, twenty thousand and uh let's say seventy thousand right so seventy thousand so seventy thousand just like that so uh we're going to say it's going to return to us all the customers whose credit limit are be is between twenty thousand and uh, uh seventy thousand so twenty thousand will be 
then 20,000 and uh, 70,000 are going to be included in a uh, 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 considered as inclusive. So if I run the code again, uh, we'll see what we get back. So if I run the code, you can see we get back all the customers that have a credit limit, which is between 20,000 and 70,000 with 20,000 and 70,000 being inclusive, inclusive, right? In that, uh, in that condition. So that's basically how we can work with, uh, between keyword. Okay. So it has many applications for it, but this is a simple application for it. So, uh, just one key have to, one thing you have to keep in mind is that 70 and 20 are inclusive. Okay. So, uh, this approach is much easier to read and, uh, but it's just, it just, it just looks like English, right? So select all the, uh, all the rows or all the columns from the customer's table where the credit limit is between this and this It's less like English, right? So it's much easier to read. Uh, compared to the using the end key or that we wrote which is more like a programming kind of approach uh okay so once you look at let's look at how to use the end keyword so you can also go ahead and specify where customer uh, values is within a given range so for example let me just scroll right here let's look at the customer number so we have uh, let me just write the customer's numbers right here so uh we have um let me just keep it in between a parenthesis we have 144 we have uh the 144 right here we have one two 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 or four uh, we have, uh, let's see, 189. Let me just generate a random number, 222. Okay, so good. So we are, I have this number right here. So I want to select all the customers whose customer's number is within this uh, this uh, list, right? this uh, set that I have said right here. So I can just go ahead and say, uh, select stuff from uh, customers where customer, uh, this is going to be a customer, right? The the customer number. So the customer number. So you can just go ahead and simply say uh, customer number. Uh, customer number. In, I'm going to say, let me just use the uppercase. So in, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that code right here. So good. So I'm going to select all the customers whose customer number is in this set we have, right? This set of values that we have right here. So I guess go ahead and run the code again. So we should run the code. Now we should be, uh, get an error right here. It says column customer number. So let's really customer and not customer. Okay, so customer and then I go ahead and run the code again. Now we should get back uh, this customer so we can see 144. Yeah, customer, there's a customer number 144, so we get back that customer. There is a one, a 138, one, 189, we get back that customer. 204, we get back that customer. And you can see this imaginary, imaginary number that I guessed. You can see there's no customer with that customer name, so we don't get it back. So it's only going to return to us a customer whose customer number is within this set value. Okay, so if it's not within the set value, it's not going to return it. So it's only going to return it when the customer value matches a value from this set value. That's another way you can uh, say it, and that we can uh, think of it. So that's basically how we can use the in operator, uh, in close, how you can use the in close uh, in MySQL. Now let's learn how to use the order by, okay? So we're going to go ahead and select everything from the customer where the customer, uh, let me just go select everything from the customer where the customer uh, credit limit uh, between. So we're going to say the credit limit is going to be between, uh, let's say, uh, 50,000 and 120, 120,000. So 50,000, one, two, three, and one, two, one two three just like that so we're going to select all the customers whose uh credit limit is between this value so if i run the code now we should get back a list of all the customers whose credit limit is between uh five fifty thousand and one hundred and twenty thousand so good so once we have that now we can go ahead and begin to use the order by so once what if i want you see if you look at the credit column this is not ordered you can see that this is smaller than uh this is bigger and then you can see it's not in in, in ascending order or, or descending order so we can use the order by close to order this in either ascending order or a descending order. So we can go ahead and say order, uh, order, uh, let me just say order, order by, and then you want to order by the credit limit. So you want to order by the credit limit of the customer. So by default, it's going to order in ascending order. So if I run the code again, we should now see the customers arranged in uh, an ascending order, right? So the value goes up, 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 up as we go down. So you can see this one is small. This one is bigger than the previous. This one is bigger than the previous. That's ascending order. You can also order this in descending order if you want to. So you can say this, and it's going to order the value is in the descending order. It means you're going to start with the very biggest one, right? The, very, the customer with the very with the biggest credit limit, the customer with the least credit limit. So that's uh, how you can order by, how you can use the order by close. Good. Uh, so that's how you can order by uh, in, uh, in uh, MySQL, how you can use the order by in MySQL. So what we have learned how to order in ascending order and descending order, right? So now let's look at the, how we can use the limit or the limit keyword. So now we have ordered all of this, right? Let's see how, let's get a count of all the rows we got back. So this is a count and let's try to get a count of all the rows we got back. So if I say count and then simply run this, it's going to return to us the number of rows, which is 75 rows, like 75 records have been returned. Okay. So what if I want to limit this to, I just want 
the top 10 right because i'm i'm ordering in descending order so if i limit this to just a 10 rows means that those are the 10 top customers that have the most credit limit right so i'm just going to say limit uh, i'm going to say limit and i'm going to limit this to be 10 this, i just want 10 records to be returned and since you're ordering this in descending order it's going to return to us the top 10 uh the top the top 10 customers with the most credit limit so if i go ahead and run the code again you can see uh okay i want to select everything so let me just delete this and uh uh, let me just save this up so save this and let me try to run it again i i'm getting back 75 so let me just run it again uh okay let me just delete this part right here and just select everything and let's run the code again so run the code now uh we should get back but it is just get back this 10 10 customers right so if, if you count this this should now be 10 just 10 customers so you can even limit it to just be let's say three customers okay so we're going to get back the top the the top three customers that have the most uh credit limit because we ordered it in descending order meaning from the highest to the lowest so if you select just the top three we're going to get back the top three customers with the most uh limit uh credit limit so if i run this you just get back three records so that's what the limit key what this used to do it used to limit the number of, the number of records you get back from your query so yeah that's how you can use limit and uh let's take a look at uh, let's say we want to skip uh some top customers so let's say we want to get the top uh, five customers customer so this will be five right so we change this to be five and it's going to be the top five uh, the top five customers basing on the credit limit so if you run this code it's going to return to us the top five customers basing on credit limit okay now let's say a person come and say you know what the first customer we want to skip the first customers how do you do that means that you want to start counting from the the second one going downwards we want to skip this row basically we want to skip this row okay we want to skip this row with a customer id of 120 uh, 120 sorry 220 278 so how do we do that we use the offset keyword and that's where offset comes in so offset and offset is the double f and then offset so we want to offset one meaning that you want to skip we want to skip the very first uh, the very first row meaning that we'll get back the first one should be uh 190 one 119 right so if i go back and run the code again uh run the code now you just you can see this it has said from 119 it has skipped the very first one right so uh, that's what offset does so if you say skip uh skip two it's going to return to us 100 and start, start with from 114 right which is the customer uh, customer number so if i run the code again i'm just going to go here and run the code again you can see we are starting from 114 basically that's what the offset does just keep some values starting from the top that's what offset does yeah so uh, we are now look at offset now let's look at the o so we have look at the end keyword say end uh between this we have look at end now you can also look at o and o is just like uh uh, basically uh both conditions can be true or one of them can be true that's all, all what all does right so uh, yeah so let's go ahead and say select uh, let me just keep this up by case and i'm going to say select and i'm going to select uh, all the roles uh from the customers uh customers table so select all the roles from customers table and i'm going to say where the custom the country uh, the country is going to be equals to i'm going to say the usa right or uh, let me just say country equals to the uk so i'm going to select all, all the all the country all the customers that come from the us or the uk so this should just return to me just to the the two two individual countries right so either us or the uk sweden uh sweden won't be included australia won't be included and all that won't be included so it's going to return customers that either come from the us or the uk so that's basically what the all keyword does so if i just run this again it's going to return to me uh, all the customers that come from only the us and the uk so you can see we have only us and uk in our country section right here in our country column basically yeah so that's basically how you can use those keywords the all keyword the end the be between the limits the offset that's how you can use all these keywords uh in uh sorry this closes in uh, sql right so that's all for this video if you guys enjoyed this video so far make sure that you like the video you share the, uh, you share this with your uh, your friends your family anyone who is learning sql and also you can support the channel by simply leaving a comment in the comment section below let me know how these videos are uh you can like the video subscribe the youtube channel and share the content right so that's basically it and let's look at an assignment because one of the best way to learn is actually to by practicing right so let me just go ahead and show you what assignment i have for you guys today again there's the, the solution to assignment can be found in the link in the description so if you click on the link in the description it should take you to a file that has a solution to the assignment so that this is the assignment so just read through it and try to write a query to answer these questions okay the best way to learn is actually to practice right so not you just learn something and just don't use it you won't really learn anything so the best way to learn is actually learn and then practice
learn and then practice so that's why i have this assignment and it takes me i also take a lot of time writing the solutions to this so make sure you actually practice and that's the best way to learn to learn the link to this uh the solution to this can be found in the description of the video thank you for watching and see you in the next one keep safe